YouTube today I'm gonna show you how to make a stupid cool type beat I would say let's get right into the first melody and this is how it sounds like So yeah first off I started off with making some chords and this is the first that I came up with. I don't even know if this has a name, but I just copied this over and then put it down five semitones. That's my first chord progression, very basic, very simple. And then I did this. And this is just for some bounce in the background. Yes, sir. And after that, I layered this chord with this sound, and this is the uh, other sound from PRD, and this is what it sounds like. So yeah, same notes, and as I said, I left some space, and I think this creates a lot of bounce. And then when the chord progression is picking up again, I think this gives a lot of bounce. I just added some small sounds like these two and then actually this bell and this reverse bell. So this is really nothing crazy. You just gotta find a simple chord progression, chord melody and then just add some little sounds that really fill out the beat and the melody to give it this like atmospheric type of feeling that Stupid Cool creates. And this is the sound. So yeah. Just a little detail and nothing too crazy on its own. And then we get this sound. This is my basic chord progression and after that I just added these smaller sounds to fill out the melody. And this is just at the end for some variation from the first two bars. And after that I made this bell melody. So yeah, really really basic. Just these two notes, the E and the B. I uh, just copied this over to this side. Yeah, just some repetitive, but it kind of gives this chill, stupid cool vibe and I really fuck with it. And then I took this bell and reversed it and then we got this sound. And I think this gives a lot of bounce in combination with the other sounds. In that case, let's just listen to the whole melody with the effects on. And then I'm gonna show you how I made the drums. This is like a, I don't know how to call it but this sound comes in and then this reverse sound comes in and the reverse goes into this sound and then this creates like a whole lot of bounce and I don't know how to explain but <laughs> let's listen again. Yeah, I really fuck with it. And then I made the drums. Very, very simple. Stupid Cool always has simple drums. And But I didn't even use perks in this beat. I just used hi-hat, two snares and a clap. And I'm gonna say, let's start with the hi-hat. So I really like to start stupid cool beats with this kind of bounce. So very simple, one, two, three. And then I went with the like faster three notes. <laughs> Bro, I don't know how to call this. But yeah, this gives a lot of bounce. And, and then in the second half, I just changed up a bit with some hi-hat rolls and to transition into the next bar. So yeah, just simple and bouncy hi-hats. And then for my 808 this is what it sounds like i just followed the root notes of the beat so nothing too crazy and as you can see i didn't even change up the pitch but what i can say is that i played around with this like these spaces in between because if i wouldn't have these spaces it would sound like this. I mean it's okay too, but this gives a lot more bounce I think. You can do this when you when you tune your 808 you have to go to this section here and then do exactly what I did here. So turn everything down except for the hold. You can control when the 808 stops and when it starts. So this is actually what I used in, in this section right here. And after that I added some snares at the end of the every bar and with some variation. And then just 
the same snare every time. Very very simple. With this beat I want to have something repetitive and simple. And these are the whole drums. And I also like that uh, this kind of three step hi-hat goes into the snare and this also creates bounce so everything about this drum pattern creates some kind of bounce. Then I just added in this classic plug sound and this is the fruity mute. You can just go to the master and then turn the mute to off, turn this knob all the way down and then click right click here and create automation clip and then you can create something like this and then you get this effect. So yeah, that's it for the video. I'm not gonna go into mixing and mastering because all I did was really leveling out the melodies and shit. There's really nothing that I can teach you right here. So yeah, hope you fuck with this tutorial. You can write down in the comments what tutorial you want to see from me. Also, yesterday I dropped a loop kit with Young Valentino. You gotta check that out, bro. Six fire loops, old draw, and you can use them all for free. Cook some beats up bro and send it to me, send it to young Valentino, we can work and yeah bro, have a good one. Table nigga know we gotta handle shit. You know I keep that big homie, leave a nigga candle lit. I ain't got no big homie, nigga, I be stepping shit. Came from the trenches where the shit really scandalous. Running up the riches, better know how to manage.